But now, let's go back. Whoa! I'm getting to sleepy again. <sighs> oh, damn sleep. Alright. And I fall. And what have we got this time? Is this just going to continue the story of, yeah, Tom and his brother... Randy? Was it? Yup! Whoa, it looks so cool! Does that mean that the all game is nearly done? Yeah, mapping roads was, um, was the last thing to do. I guess that means AIs are gonna get picked. One from each town. I wonder who's, go who's gonna get picked, yeah. Who is going to get picked? Bye bye, theories. Well, oh, whoa, AIs were just normal people before? Huh, I think these dreams are just not dreams. They're flashbacks. But not mine. Indeed. Okay, so I guess the AIs were regular NPCs, apparently. Uh, main character's house. Okay, let me see if Sid is here. Do you, oh wait, oh yeah. In this game, there's actually no Professor Sid, but this guy, Bucky. Uh, a Pokemon. Yeah, he still says the same thing, kids these days. Okay. But yeah, that's one different thing about 1.6 that it has different professor. But, let's fast travel over to the town. Back here. Yup. Ferrara city, or town. Here we are. Is anything on? Futurama is on. Awesome. So... Let's go back here, and I'm gonna see how this day-night system works, and then after that I'm probably gonna be ending things up. But, yeah, that is what we kinda were supposed to do in the beginning of this recording session, but ne we never really got into it, because we needed to beat the AI dude first. And what do you know, Professor Oak? Hello, hello. Remember to activate night mode. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You need to re-enter the forest to... Okay. Let's just go back all, all the way here, just to be safe. Item... So where in the world is it? Day-night system. Night mode. Okay. And it is night now. That is pretty cool. Not gonna lie. Mm. Did I battle her already? Apparently not. It's nice to see night. Indeed it is. It's, it looks really fresh. Yeah. Nope. Let's go to... That relevant. Well, I could also try out Umbreon. But not right now. Jolteon is better in this case. Flame Claw, it only does 70. Jolteon poisoned? Well, that sucks. Well, I'm gonna get rid of that. I should have that antidote now. Uh, where in the world is it? I just bought it, so it might be... I don't imagine it being at the bottom. And again, I'm not really sure how it... How does this get arranged anyways? No, it's somewhere here. Antidote. Jolteon. And then we're gonna roll out with Geodude. There we go. And the Fang. And Tyrogue is confused, but that's like whatever. It doesn't matter. Does not matter at all. And the Fang. And it's still not dead. Holy crap. That thing is bulky and Tyrogue is dead. What a shame. Well, I do have some, uh... Some items, Phoenix Downs, that I can use. So I'm gonna do that real quick soon. 
think it is Geodude's turn. Uh, item... Phoenix down. Cairo. There we go. Under Fang. And dead. Perfect. Still not really sure how the experience system works, because apparently you still get experience while you're dead. But do you get more experience when you're alive? That could potentially make sense, but... Still not really sure. Rage. Destruct. Fury is evolving into... Dun 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 dun... Graveler! Awesome! Well that is great. Geodude was kind of weak anyway, so it's a nice thing to have a stronger Pokemon. I finally got a Houndoom. I've been looking for it for ages. Okay. And that's your only Pokemon. Well, it makes sense, because Houndoom is like pretty strong, I would imagine. Tackle. And then I'm gonna do... I got a Metal Claw too, but that's not good. This is Dragon Rage. And then... Karate Chop. That's super effective. And then there's Graveler. And... and Rock Slide. Let's just use it once because I want to see it in action. Holy crap. How much did that, did that even do? Holy. That, that was pretty cool. And you really need to be careful when using that. Since it kind of wastes all your power points. Alright, hey Chuck, here we go. Come on, Tyro. You can do it. Don't die on me. Good. And it's dead. Alright. Wasn't too bad. But I'm gonna use some potions probably now. Item. Let's just use these random potions. Back to full health. Almost back to full. There we go. That should be good enough. Let's keep moving on. And hello. Um I guess I'm just gonna go this way. Chainsaw on the way. Oh wait, this just gets back to the beginning. Oh okay. Oh no, so many hoot hoots. That's not any waste any time with this. Let's run and finally just get to the uh to the village. Oh no. Sceptile? Okay, that's pretty cool. And what are you guys? It's so beautiful. And you. Okay, you want about more spillers sits on top of my. The mine? I always want to check it out. Okay. And you have an onyx. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah, that, that's, that's horrible. That's right, I mean. And then, uh, let's actually try out Umbreon, I kind of want to see it in action. There we go, what kind of moves does it have? Distraught. Uh, well it probably doesn't kill myself, or does it? Let's see. It's just a random explosion kind of thing. Okay. There we go, Umbreon. It has Shadow Claw, which is a ghost type move, naturally, and bite. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna bite. Although it doesn't really do much. Okay, Shadow Claw actually may be pretty useful. Especially, well, then again, bite is more. Bite is still better against ghosts, I would imagine. Then again, I don't know if it has stab or anything. Let's use it. I think it did more. Destruct is a normal type move, okay. Well, that's something. There is something indeed. Come on, Tyrogue. Shadow Claw. Alright, chop. And it's still alive. I probably should have changed into... Into that, uh, Vaporeon. I guess I might as well still do that, but... You know. Well, it's dead. Okay. Okay, maybe next time, maybe next time. Tyrogue leveled up. That is awesome. But... What is the way to go? I guess we'll just go back this way. 
mobile Pokemon and those are Poochie and us. Run. run and then we go another trainer. Okay, everyone's been talking about this forest. I don't see what's so great. Well, it kind of changes and turns into Luna Forest at night, so it's pretty cool. What? Oh wait, I was gonna run from Trainer Bell. Of course that doesn't work. Of course. Uh, dra Dragon Rage and... Oh yeah, I can't do anything now. Except struggle. So let me just do that. And Karate Chop. There we go. Come on, come on. Let's fight those dogs. And... There we go. There we go. It's a shame that Gravelo can't do anything, but... Oh well. Just keep on struggling. Struggling every day. And now one snubble is gone. And one more to go. I'm just really not sure which way the forest is, but hopefully this way, since we've got like all new changes and everything. It's so it's probably here somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it's probably here somewhere. That was describing. Anyways, I'm just rambling like I always do. Come on, Snapple, go down already. We have wasted enough time with you. Thank you. And experience levels for anyone? No. Nope, nope, nope. Well, let's go up here. And there's old grandma here. It's been quite some time since I've been to Mars Village. And you have an ox owl. Okay, hypnosis. Oh no. I think it missed. Uh, let's turn Indra Jolty on. Get some stuff done here. Do some work in Red Rage. And I still can't do anything except if I have an item. I do have an ether. So, might as well do that. And then, um. I guess I'm just gonna karate chop. And then, thunder bang. Maybe get some para hacks going on. That would be nice. And yeah, speak of the devil. He's paralyzed. Alright, so let's just keep spamming some attacks. Now I could use that rock slide again. Two if I would want, but uh, yeah, let's not do that. Uh, holy crap, 200 power. Nice. Let's just go with rock throw. And it's dead. Okay. Awesome. Here we go. So... Maybe the village... Yeah, now we're on the other side. And Mr. Rival is here. So let me actually use some potions. There we go. I think we are good to go. Graveler has some power points at its disposal too. Well, a good thing that I noticed him before uh, going at it. Hey you! I've got an... Uh, yeah, yeah, you're gonna stronger and want a rematch. <laughs> All right, here we go. Battle against Evil Cipher, the rival man who has all the starters. And we are going to Thunderfang the Krogonov. There we go. That's actually going to be my main goal to take down. Because Charmeleon and uh, Graveler. All right, Graveler. Do the rollout. And then Thunderbank again. And yeah, I'm just gonna be rolling out. Because it hits everything. Quilava for some super effective damage. And I got the burn. Uh. No. I should have that burn berry thing. Uh, I have this, but I think I had another one, like burn berry. Yeah. No, but that heals frozen. Oh. I really thought it would do exactly the opposite. 
Or exactly the obvious thing, burn berry, burning the, you know. Then again, if it burns, then it, you know, you know, told you how. Makes sense. Pokemon logic. Um... Anywho... I'm just gonna use some random potion here. Just because. Thunderfang! And he's actually paralyzed, so that's good. What in the world was that? Tyrog is at its limits. And now, wow. Let me just keep at it. There we go. One down, two more to go. Um. What should I do now? I could actually. Yeah, let me do this. Get to element. Fire, and then we are going to focus on this bad boy right here. Bay leaf. And then I may just bring... Oh, that was Flame Grabber. Okay. I may bring uh, Graveler back to life of that. And Tyrog as well. After these guys are down. After the Bay leaf is down, that is. Oh no, confusion. No! No, no, that's bad. I should probably use a potion. If I get a chance to do that. Before I... Before Charmeleon dies. Hi, potion! Hi! There we go. Perfect, and he's still confused. Holy crap! Probably should have used the... Like a snappity snap out of confusion berry as well. But whatever. Do I have such a thing here? Um, poison paralyzation. Uh, no, whatever. Attack, fire fan, let's go. It'll snap out of confusion soon enough. And uh, Flareon is at its limits. I'm just gonna play it safe and use a potion. Don't wanna play any games. Still freaking confused. Come on, Charmeleon. They're better than this. Finally, back to normal. Alright, Fire Fang. Bayleaf. Maybe now that I can double team on it, maybe I can now take it out, actually. The music is good, again. And, um. Yeah, there we go. Good Ember. Flame Claw, that's probably better. Bayleaf. And it's dead. Alright. So, let's do a Phoenix down. Graveler is actually pretty useful too. And then I'm gonna Phoenix down also with a Thai Rogue. Just to get him back in the action. And I should probably use... Bite me. Bite me, mister. And, um... Actually, I kind of want to get, just get rid of him. Let's do that. <laughs> 620. Nice. Then I can just use Graveler to uh, use some potions on my team. Yep. And then we're gonna use Dragon Rage. To be honest, it should be like dead pretty soon anyways. I can still roll out. So... Let me actually do that. Rock throw, and it's dead. I kind of figured it should be pretty close to dying. Since the other two weren't, you know, that strong. Alright, Graveler leveled up, Tyrogue leveled up, everybody leveled up. Except for Eevee. Ah, not again! I need to train more! I'll beat you eventually. Alrighty. And that was that. He's gone. And? Ooh. There's moonlight pouring through the windows. Indeed. Move along. I shall. But the music. This is the Morse Village. And what is going on with Morse Village and the scary music? We are going to find that out next time. Because now we will be ending things up here. 
There we go, let's just save real quick. And now we'll end with the scary music. There's a gym, and there are a bunch of graves, and there's a cave. So, a bunch of stuff that we can do. Um, most likely I'm just gonna be heading over to the, um, to the gym next time. And I uh, will level up our pokes a bit, get a bit stronger, and after that, you know, we could head over to the mystery cave, possibly. And there might be some other side quests here in this town, but, um... Oh yeah, there's a cave entrance right here. Let's take a sneak peek. It's a pile of bones. Oh, well that that's scary. That is scary indeed. What does it mean? Are there more dead people, more skeletons in possibly this cave? What lies up ahead? What's in the gym? All that and more, or at least some of it, will be answered next time. So definitely stay tuned for that. So, until then, until next time, this is the Flaming Spade, signing out. Peace.